This week, cameras. What you got, Chase? I've got a Fuji Fine Picks camera, but I'm gonna have to get up to show you how it works because it's got something really cool called facial recognition technology. Now, if I hold up the camera in front of you, Susie, a little green box appears around your face. If I move it around, the box tracks your face. Let me just get this in context. This camera knows it's looking at a face. Well, what's it, what, what does that do? What it does is it sets up... I'll just take a picture of you while I'm chatting. It sets up the camera so that it takes your face with optimum settings, okay? So skin tones and contrast and that sort of thing. There you go, lovely shot. And more importantly, it does all of these uh, calculations and sets it all up in 0.04 of a second. That's quick. Well, wow, that's impressive, really isn't it? Mm. I've got something here that's a bit of fun, really. It's, uh, it's the HP R967. It's got all your normal stuff. It's uh, 10 megapixels, it's got a decent screen on the back, 30 time total zoom, but it's got a design gallery inside. So when you take your pictures, you can alter them, change them around a bit. It's got all the normal stuff in there, retro and all that kind of thing. But the one that made me laugh the most was the fact that you can make yourself thinner. It's got a slimming setting. So if we just can grab our producer out of the corner, because <laughs> he did say earlier that, you know, he was having a bit of a, a on, fat Ewan. day. Mm. You don't mind, do you? And, Okay, so we've got a nice picture of our producer there. And then all I have to do is uh, I have to go into... In fact, let me, let me show you here. Right, there he is, Ewan. And uh, then we go into our menu. There we go. Slimming, go into slimming. And then what we do is we can see him change. Fantastic. There he is, look. Fat producer. <laughs> thinner producer. Fat producer. <laughs> thinner producer. Is it squeezing the whole background as well? It, well, it progressively squeezes the whole shot, but more obviously in the middle. So you've got to make sure that your subject's in the middle. Otherwise, if your arm gets caught on the edge, you know, you'll end up like. Bingo wings. Bingo wings. Yeah. Stuff. Exactly that. But it's good fun. It's good fun. What about you, John? What have you got? I've got this. And to demonstrate it, Jason, into the courtyard, please. Hey. As fast as you can. Okay. Right, this sounds mm. good. I've got the world's smallest camera with a ten times optical zoom. That thing's got ten times. It is. Ten times articles. Normally, on a compact camera, you don't get a long zoom lens. The reason is, if you have a big zoom range, you end up with a big lens, it's no longer a compact camera. But Kodak have got round this by fitting two lenses into their camera. There's the wide-angle lens and the other lens for the sort of zoomed-in shots. Ah, OK. And Jason should have arrived down in the courtyard. Yeah, we need to test so it out. can demonstrate it using his... Uh, Face, I hope we can get that close. OK, let me hold it for you. Oh, mate. OK. So there's the wide. We can hardly recognise him in that. I start zooming in. I zoom in up to the uh, end of the first lens. Yeah. You know, he's just half the frame there. Then I can zoom right in using the second lens. Wow. And he's actually recognisable. That's absolutely incredible. 